Okay, team, we're going to explore Screencastify. I'm going to use Screencast-O-Matic to make this video about Screencastify. They're both screencasting softwares that you can just use through web browser. So for Screencastify, you're going to go to screencastify.com, and then we're going to just work through this. I'm going to add it to Chrome. I love Chrome. I'm in Chrome. And this is going to give me a little extension, which I love. Um, here we go. Add to Chrome. Yes. What it's going to do is going to make a little button for me up here, is my guess. I'm going to click down here where the loading is. It may take a minute. Da, da, da. And when it's done, I'm guessing it's going to make a little button for me right up here. Now what that's going to do is make it really easy for me to use this um, extension easier than having to type it in. Okay. So it says to use it, click on the button or control or shift to manage your shortcuts. Okay. So now, here we go. I'm in, whatever. I'm going to click on my little new extension, and there we go. Now I can sign in with Google. I'm going to use my Parish one. And then it's setting up. Okay, so we need to make sure we can use the camera and microphone, obviously, and your, your annotations if you want to do drawings on here. Yes, we're going to allow it to use my microphone and camera. Uh, here we go. Grade school. Ta da oh, look, we're set up. Now we're going to see if we can make something. Now I'm going to click on here. And here's some interesting choices. So, one, you see how this little bar is bopping up and down? That means it's picking up my voice, which is good. Now we have some choices. We can just let it show just the browser I am in if you don't want um, the video to show everything. Or you can have the webcam if you just want it to shoot your face. Um, and then you obviously want the microphone if you want to be narrating what you're doing, okay? And then we're gonna watch this. It says five minute limit per video. We're gonna have to upload, upgrade if I wanna do more complicated stuff. So keep that in mind. And then I'm going to press record, and it's probably going to give me a countdown, and then it's going to record everything I do. So I said my entire screen, and then I'm going to say share, or I can do just what I'm in right now, which is just in Chrome, or my entire screen. I'm going to choose my entire screen. Here we go, countdown, ta-da! Now I'm making a Screencastify video. And here are some things that are gonna help me work with that. We have focus tool, hide the cursor when not moved. I always like the little um, loop thing around my cursor, mouse pointer, pen tool, eraser, hide, pause, okay? So if you're making your video and you are trying to find something and you can't find it and you need to take a second, then just press the pause button and then you can figure it out and then you can restart your video. Now at the end of the day, what's um, important is what you do with the video once you make it. 
So let's see what happens here. Focus, end recording. I'm going to end my recording. And let's see what's happened. Yay! I'm going to skip this tour. If you're new to this, you might want to watch it. So now we have some options. We can share to a classroom, publish to YouTube, go put it in your Google Drive. What you may want to do is make a folder in your Google Drive and just throw stuff here. What I usually do is publish my stuff to YouTube. Okay. Um, what you would need to do is find your channel. If you don't have a channel, you're probably going to have to log into YouTube and set this whole thing up. Let's see what I got. Da, da, da. Oh, look, there I am. I can make it private or public. Um, and I can write a little description. My first screencast of if okay and then I can upload it and then more information it must be my channel what I usually do and I'll show you this is I just go to YouTube And then because I've already done this like 8 billion times, I just click on this upload video option here. And then I follow the prompts from YouTube on how to upload my video. I'm going to select a file. I have a whole bunch of, look, here's all my other ones, and then I just follow all the prompts here, and then I will upload my video to the YouTube. Now, if you're worried about sharing, what you would then need to do, I'm not going to do that one because I've already made it before, is let's look at some of my other videos. Here's one of my other ones. I have this glorious video, but I'm going to be sharing this with little kids, so I don't want it to go to YouTube because I'm nervous about other things popping up. So I want to make it into Safe Share. Safe Share. Yes, TV. And then all you have to do is paste your link here. Ugh. Now it wants me to log in. I don't know if that's my password. And then Safe Share will make you a Safe Share link. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with figuring out my my sign in, but you just paste this in here. Once you've logged in. It'll make you a safe share link, and then you know that your video that you've created is safe to share with anybody. It's not just out there on YouTube.